Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi. To my regular subscribers and viewers, welcome back. And to my new subscribers and viewers, welcome. Here we go again. I'm so sick of this. From the Daily Mail. Now, President Biden is over in Poland. Oh, being the world leader that he is, you know, I don't want to go into that. And he brings up the Charlottesville riot in his NATO speech. These people suck so bad. Biden repeats claim that Trump called neo-Nazis good people after the Charlottesville riot in NATO speech, hinting he wants a rematch in 2024. You know what, President Biden? Shut the f*** up. That's a lie. It's one of those deals where you say a lie loud enough and long enough. Trump has a lot of faults. And I'm a Trump supporter, I'm going to say it right up front. He has a lot of faults. You don't have to make up stuff. I saw ad, ad nauseum all the video I could find concerning him at Charlottesville. He was talking about the Robert E. Lee statue, who I'm a big fan of Robert E. Lee. Flawed as he was, I was a huge fan of his. His integrity, his honesty, his loyalty to his state, because at the time things were different than they are now. And the issue was the statue, the removal of Lee's statue in Charlottesville. Now, by the way, that was Lee's biggest victory, and he also lost General Jackson there. I was there and did a little video on when I was in Charlottesville. You'll find it in my in my videos. Make it, but to make a long story short, he was talking about the statue removal. Half the pe people that on one side that wanted it removed and people on the other side that wanted to stay as part of their heritage and history were decent people on both sides. And he knows it. And he keeps doing this. Now, is he that, are they that clueless? Are they in that bubble that he really doesn't know? And that tells me the president of the United States, what else doesn't he know that's true? Oh, my God. And then you have Lindsey Graham criticizing Biden for invoking Charlottesville. I mean, what the hell does that have to do with NATO? We're looking at a regional type war, theoretically, into World War III. I don't think that's going to happen, but there's thousands and thousands of people dead, billions of dollars in damage. So all of Europe is on alert. NATO's on alert. And this, I'm going to say it right out loud, this moron brings up Charlottesville at a NATO speech? That's to go back to their old bag of trucks? Are they getting beat? They have some internal polls that actually makes them look a lot worse than they already are. They look pretty bad right now. Let's read on. During his press conference at NATO headquarters on Thursday, President Joe Biden once again claimed that his predecessor, Donald Trump, called neo-Nazis who marched in Charlottesville, unite the right rally for good people. He did not. Biden previously said that Trump's comments that day in 2017 inspired him to run for president in the first place. Not at all. Absolute lie. He was going to retire and he was going to do this and just be Uncle Joe and Blah, 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 blah. And this kind of, this kind of racism cannot be tolerated. And I decided to run for president. God, what a hero. Idiot. Speaking to reporters in Brussels, the president asked about potential concerns for the U.S. European allies over Trump possibility of getting reelected in 2024. Now, I'm sure all the European reporters that were there were, were all on the edge of their seats concerning Charlottesville. You idiot. Reporter pressed Biden on whether NATO had any safeguards in place. The former president had frequently dismissed the defensive alliance as obsolete and even reportedly tried to pull out of, out of it while in office. He didn't try to pull out of NATO. Trump never did that. That's a lie, too. What he said was they need to pay their fair share as per their agreement, 2% of the gross domestic product. If not, we're going to stop paying for it. And miracle of miracles, all of a sudden, these European countries in NATO came up with the money and made NATO 10 times better than they were. Equipment, uh, resources, software, uh, trained individuals, you name it. 
anything that NATO has now that's really good to look at the Russians as they're coming all came directly from Trump. Studying his long history with foreign policy, Biden answered, yeah, crappy foreign policy. I have no concerns about the impact. I made a commitment when I ran this time. I wasn't going to run again. And I mean that sincerely. I had no intention of running for president again, the commander-in-chief claimed. Until I saw those folks coming out of the fields of Virginia carrying torches and carrying Nazi banners and literally singing the same vile rhyme that they used in Germany in the 1920s and 30s. Well, here's an interesting little side note, President Biden. There are tens of thousands, if not more, real Eastern European Nazis all over southern Ukraine. They're all over the place. Real Nazis. Not the ones you call Nazis that you disagree with politically. I'm talking about philosophical real Nazis. You're defending them and not a peep. You know what? You suck. Let's read on. Look at this guy. You know, I hate to be so mean. I really do because I want to be respectful of the office of the president, but I can't help it. I can't help it. God, how did we get in this spot? Honest to God, how did it happen? Oh, boy. And then when the gentleman you mentioned was asked what he thought, and a young woman was killed, a protester, and he asked, was asked what he thought. I mean, I can't even make a coherent sentence. He said, there are good people on both sides. And that's when I decided I wasn't going to be quiet any longer. Oh, what a noble character, you idiot. He's talking about the removal of the statue. What a moron. This is all they have left. This is all they have left. Biden was for the death of Heather Heyer, a three-year-old activist who was killed when she was hit by a car while attending a counter-protest of a white nationalist rally. When I ran this time, and I think the American press, whether they look at me favorably or unfavorably, acknowledge this. I made a determination. Nothing is worth, no election is worth by not doing exactly what I think is the right thing, the president continued. I don't think you'll find any European leader who thinks I am up to the job. <laughs> the president took one more jab at his Republican rival who beat him in 2020. The next election, I'll be very fortunate if I had that same man rung against me, he told reporters. And here they are, the evil tiki to uh, torch holders. Yeah, they're scumbags. If they're real Nazis and not just pretend Nazis, yeah, they're scumbags. And nobody says they're not scumbags, including Trump. But meanwhile, though, President Biden, you're helping protect real Nazis, a thousand, tens of thousands of them, if not more, in southern Ukraine. What a hypocrite. And uh, like I said, you know, we can go on and on and on. I was going to show the little video. You know, Lindsey Graham, he sucks too. I mean, I've lost respect for him completely after he called for the assassination of Putin, but he was right on this one. As Ukraine burns, President Biden talks talking about Charlottesville and domestic policies. Oh, God. A reporter on drilling Crump whether he should condemn the neo-Nazis who marched in tiki torches and shouting things like Jews will not replace us. I think there's blame on both sides. If you look at both sides, I think there's blame on both sides. But I, I have no doubt about it. You don't have any doubt about it either. And if you reported it accurately, you would say so, Trump said. Yeah, he's right. A journalist said the neo-Nazis started this. They showed up in Charlottesville to protest. Then came Trump's infamous reply. Excuse me, excuse me. They didn't put themselves, and you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had some people that were fine people on both sides. Yeah, there's some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. He's since been misquoted on numerous occasions as having directly phrased neo-Nazis as good. It doesn't matter what he says. They're going to twist and turn it. You're, President Biden, you are a disgrace. And first of all, we'll say that it was true. It's not, but we'll say that it was. What the hell would you bring it up for when Europe was on the brink of war? Tens of thousands of people have died counting the armies on both sides and civilians, over a million refugees, and you're talking about why you ran for president in Charlottesville in a NATO speech? 
What the hell is wrong with you? Until the next time, goodbye and good luck. Mm-hmm.